What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 5th Ionic tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create a simple header for your application in Ionic. Well, we do have a header right here. You can see that this is the Ion header bar, class bar stable. Now the thing with Ionic is that it comes with a lot of styles inbuilt so you don't have to, you know, work a lot if you are creating a very simple application you can just go ahead with the default styles and default javascript modules whatever you want to call them and you will be ending up with a very nice and neat application for your devices but if you have a complex application then obviously you would need some sort of styles for your custom styles as well so to create an ion header bar what we do is we refer to the documentation because documentation is God so for this documentation what I am gonna do is that inside the CSS components for the header we have a bunch of options right here now this one shows that this is a div so if you actually just copy and paste this code right here instead of the ion header bar then also it will work sort of but I would just recommend you to stick with ion header bar because this is a angular one directive so there's some sort of code binding to this and uh, when we are just when we just start with the angular custom directives for our application for ionic then we'll take a look at at why they are important so for now just replace any div you find for the header with ion header bar so for now we have tried the bar light for example this one is bar stable so if I just change it to light or let me just pretty much scale this down a little bit So I'm gonna say here we go and if I can just scale it down a little bit more and here we go so now we have this ionic blank starter and I could just get rid of this well what we did right there the sidebar so this ionic blank starter for the bar light for the bar stable you see it looks something like this and for bar light it looked pretty much similar so the next thing is this bar positive and actually the plus point is that angular automatically just keeps showing you all of the stuff on the right hand side so the things are shown in the real time so you can just try that on the live website also but let me just go ahead and create a bar positive right here so I'm gonna say bar positive and as you can see the changes are reflected immediately then we have the bar calm and these are all the styles which are inbuilt so you don't have to do a thing so this is bar calm now and the next thing we have is the balanced one so if I write balanced then you can see it turned green then we have energized and you know pretty much you get the idea so if I just stick with the dark that looks cool so I'm gonna stick with dark next is subheader well I guess for any sort of application you would probably not require the subheader but if you do require then that's how you pretty much add it you can just go ahead and add the subheader for your application and uh, yeah so that's pretty much how you add a header to your ionic application and here we can say let's just name our application which will be building so let's just think about that in this little time so let me just think about what we'll be building for our ionic project um, a to-do list would be too mainstream because 
we have been building that for pretty much almost every language for example we did for did that for angular as well so let me just think about something different uh, how about a application which would sort of allow you to upload images to your web server so for example you can create a file storage application for your website like if you have a site like mediafire or you know sites something like that which you know just allows you to store your files on the cloud and share them accordingly so you can just create an application for a, such a site and that site would actually that application would actually require or would you know need that user could user would need that the application would allow the user to actually upload files into his own account and uh, yes yeah, sort of that application on a very low scale so let's just name our application as file uploader well that looks um, ugly kind of so let's just name this as dammers file upload so that kind of looks rad so dammers file uploader is our newest website which is gonna compete mediafire and everything else in the market and it's gonna rock with ionic so that's basically pretty much your another hello world program but with some sort of code you written yourself so that's it for this tutorial and uh, if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching